As we prepare for our live coverage of Demo Day, we are taking a look back at some of the people who were part of the iconic landmark. WFMZ's Joy Howe begins this mini-series with a man who helped to build the place, and in doing so did something in those days that was groundbreaking. I got thinking, why am I the one that's standing up here talking to you? This was always a team effort for Gordon Baker, but the retired Bethlehem Steel civil engineer told a crowd who came to hear him talk about this mammoth monument that he thinks he's the last of just two in his original crew still living who helped build Martin Tower. They said we couldn't do it, by right? golly we did. How they do it? They used a business computer to draw up plans for the steel structure. First of all, if you're in a shop and you're going to make something in steel, you need a picture. Instead of thousands of hours spent drafting, the computer did it for them, faster. These days, our smartphones have more power than that big old computer that built Martin Tower, but at that time, it was revolutionary. And it all worked. Gordon would eventually work in the tower he helped build. This is the greatest picture of Martin Tower being erected that I've ever seen. He stayed there until he retired in 1996. Anyone that know what the iron workers do with the last piece of steel when it goes up to a job. They normally bring a flag up, and it gets pretty touching. It was touching for Gordon to see this building tower over the Lehigh Valley for so long. But he says even as someone who helped put it up, he's okay with it coming down. I'm not emotionally attached, to be very honest with you. It's probably not the answer everybody wants to hear me say, but I'm really not. It's a building, <laughs> and if it's not functional, I guess I'm, I'm an engineer. <laughs> Joey Howe, 69 News. And the clock is ticking as we head toward demolition of Martin Tower on Sunday. Stay with 69 News and WFMZ.com for full coverage of the big moment. Our on-air coverage, by the way, starts Sunday morning at 6. Brew your coffee and join us. And we'll have many more Martin Tower stories in the lead-up to the demolition Sunday morning at 7.